All right, guys, Q&A video part one. All right, guys, we're going to get into this video. I've got a whole bunch of questions to go through. It's actually a two-part video. But first, if you could, you know what to do. Hit that subscription button, notification bell. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Of course, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, what I did here, oh, let's do the social media stuff, right? You got to follow Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and of course, Whatnot. Ooh, big announcement, Whatnot. Guys, I'm going to be going on Whatnot live every Monday night in January at 8.30. It's a weekly Whatnot for the month of January. I may be doing themes, but the one thing I can promise you is the final Monday of the month, 8.30 Eastern time, I will be doing another mystery box auction. I think that went off really well the first time. I think everyone was pretty happy with what they have. So I'm going to do the same thing. That's going to be at the end of the month. But again, every single Monday on whatnot, 8.30 Eastern, I'll be doing an auction somewhere between maybe 60 and 90 minutes. Um, and there's a link down below in the description. Guys, if you haven't bought, purchased anything yet on whatnot, download the app, use the link down below. You get $10 off your first purchase. You get 10 bucks, I get 10 bucks. And it doesn't have to be with me. If you purchase anything across whatnot, you still get your $10 off. So check that link out. That's in the description down below. It's an absolutely awesome app. Super easy format. Great. A lot of fun. Uh, so with this, what I did here with this video is I posted on Instagram, you know, ask me some questions, Comic related, non-comic related. I got a bunch of mixed up stuff here, which is pretty cool. So let's get into it. Two part video, 15 questions or so in the first one, somewhere around 14 questions. It's a lot of stuff to go through. So we're going to get right into it here. No question. Number one, is it tough to sell all those books and only keep a few for your PC? Yes. That's a hard capital Y E S exclamation point. Yes. It is so difficult. And the reason it's difficult is because I like I like collecting. I'm a collector, right? You've seen the room tour video. You've seen all the Batman rogues. I would love to do the same thing with Batman that I've done with Batman with Spider-Man. I'd love to collect the Spider-Man rogues. I don't need the whole ASM run like I've done with Journey into Mystery. I have that, but it would be really cool. I love symmetry. I'd, I'd love to have one whole half of my room Batman like it already is and one whole side of my room here, one other half Spider-Man. And wouldn't it be cool if like I painted the wall like a red and blue, like Spidey, and maybe painted this wall with all the Batman stuff like a gray, like a gray tone. I think that would be really cool, but I don't have the room. I've got the turtle stuff. I've got the He-Man stuff, the Thor stuff behind me. I don't even have my Green Lantern stuff displayed. So it would be f amazing to be able to do ASM, Spider-Man, uh, have all the Silver Age rogues, up against the Batman rogues. That would be really, really cool. But yes, to, and, and you know what else is really difficult to move? Really obscure titles. Bone, um, Evil Ernie, that volume one there. Like that kind of stuff, those obscure books that you don't find often, those would be really difficult. Those are difficult to move. So yes, to answer your question, yes, it is really difficult to only keep a few books for the PC. Two, question number two, which book have you never found in the wild that you think you will one day? AF-15. I've never come across an AF-15 in the wild. I've come across some big, big books. I've never come across an AF-15, which I think I will. I think I'll find an Amazing Fantasy 15 before I'll find a Journey into Mystery 83, which I've never found. Tales of Suspense 39. So 83 is the first Thor. Tales of Suspense 39 is the first Iron Man. I've never found either of those, but I have found a Fantastic Four 1. X-Men 1, Daredevil 1, and Amazing Spider-Man number 1. I found all of those in the wild, so why not find the other ones? I think I can. I think, fingers crossed, 2022, right? 2022. Uh, question three, how do you find collections? I get this question so often, and um, there's a few different ways. You know, at this point, word of mouth is a really big thing. I've purchased so many collections in the area you guys have been watching this. I think I've been doing this channel for about two years. Like there's a lot of, I purchased a lot of collections, small ones with from like one little short box to giant 60 long box collections and everything in between. So word of mouth is a real thing that spreads. That is true. That is fact. That's a big deal. Also, uh, the website helps because um, that's where you put in information. If you're looking to sell your collection and you follow me, that's a nice way. Uh, and here's the biggest one, guys. Everybody that I know in my life, pretty literally everyone in my personal life knows that I do this. So all it takes is conversations for those people with any of the other people in the world that they know. And if comic books come up one way or another, 
there you go. There's your connection back to you. So that's what I would recommend. It doesn't hurt either having great rep, uh, great relationships with your LCS, stuff like that. Um, what is something that you see in the comic community that annoys you? Here's something that bothers me a lot. And it's the people that put down or attack other collectors because they collect a certain way. Because they collect CGC and maybe they don't read the weekly books, but they collect as investments. Or maybe they just like to display it and they want to get it graded. Or maybe it's it's those kind of people attacking the readers. Like, who's to say how to collect in our hobby? There's so many different ways, whether you like raw, whether you like slabs, whether you like omnis, absolutes, trades, whether you like toys, statues, and everything in between. There's so many different ways to collect in our hobby that it's just not right for you to to argue with somebody about what they do with their books and their collection. So we're all in this together. So like the more people in our hobby, the more valuable it becomes and we all lift each other up. So no reason to do that. Uh, what was the very first comic you ever submitted to CGC? Two books in New York Comic Con that I submitted for the first time. Coincidentally, the first time I ever submitted books to CGC, I got them signed. One was a Harley Quinn number one from 2000, Terry Dotson cover. Uh, Terry Dotson signed and sketched a little Harley head, little remark on there. Before that was like the cool thing to do. I wish I still had that book because it was really cool. And that came back a 9.8. The other one is actually still in my PC. It's going to be in the PC forever. It's a Batman number one, New 52, Capullo, Snyder, Glapion, triple signed. The only thing, and I met all three of them at that convention. The only thing I regret, and granted, this was this was my very first time doing this, is that they all use different, they, were, they use two different colors. So Capullo used a nice silver, which is great on the black cover. That's like a darker cover. And Snyder and Glapion both used black. I would have liked them all to either use silver or black. I don't like the different colors on there. So that's all. Those are, and I'm sure I submitted some others at the same time. I just don't remember the grades or what books they were, but those two ring, those two stick in my head. Actually, I bet you if you go on my Instagram and go way, 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 way back to the beginning, you'll see it because I I remember posting it on Instagram. Uh, What would you do if you weren't buying or selling comics? I would be playing video games aside from doing more work around the house because i don't do enough of that uh i would be probably playing video games all my friends kind of get on me because we used to play a lot of video games together going way back to like gears of war 2 uh rainbow six vegas like that might be one of my favorite multiplayer games like i'm going way back to the xbox 360 days uh uno with the camera we used to do that too way back and now everybody's playing like cod and fortnite and um, I'm just not really a part of it. And it sucks because I do miss playing. It's, it does. It stinks. I miss playing the video games. Um, so I would say I'd be doing more video game, more gaming, and more housework. <laughs> um, first Annihilus, then Mephisto. Are these guys ever coming to the MCU? Yeah. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Mephisto is a little bit more blur. I'm not positive about Melisto. It seems like it, maybe, maybe not. I will bet the farm Annihilus is coming to the MCU. There is no doubt in my mind. He's too cool of a villain, too good of a story. And for, and you got to remember, you have to remember with that book, Fantastic Four Annual Number Six, first appearance of Annihilus. It's also the first appearance of Franklin Richards. These guys are coming. No doubt about it. I am confident. Mephisto, the, my only hang up with Mephisto is... Are they going to bring the devil character into the MCU and on the big screen? I don't know. I mean, they can twist him a little bit, but we'll see. But yeah, definitely. No doubt about it. Now, I didn't think Annihilus was coming anytime soon. Annihilus might be in the second or even third Fantastic Four movie. But yeah, I definitely think he's coming. I don't think Annihilus is in the first FF movie. What is your go-to for pricing comics for sale and purchase? I kind of just look at eBay sales. I look at for raw stuff in the grades. I also look at coverprice.com. Same with the slabs. I look at coverprice.com. I look at recent sales on eBay and I just adjust accordingly. Here's a good one. How many roosters and chickens do you own? Do they have names? First of all, roosters are chickens. Roosters are male chickens. Hens are female chickens. They're all chickens. So I have two roosters and six hens seven hens i'm not sure um do they have names some do uh 
I have Sparkle and I think Nico. Those are the two roosters. And the hens, we used to have a fancy. I'm not sure if fancy's still with us. I'm not, I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, let's go to the next one. Oh, who's your favorite chicken? My favorite chickens are all gone. I had a little black chicken named Iris. I loved her. These are silkies. And if you ever want to look up what silkies are, just Google, look up silky chickens. And that's what I have, some of those. Uh, Iris, I loved her. She was my little black silky. And then uh, Dusty was probably my favorite. I love Dusty. She was, a, she was a silky. She was like a gray and white. And then I do miss Dave was my probably one of my favorite roosters. He was great. Dave the rooster, he was awesome. He run up to you and just hang out with you. He was good. Uh, who... Who's your least favorite chicken? That would be Sparkle. He is the spawn of Satan. He is the worst rooster we've ever owned, ever. Uh, what is your biggest regret for in the earliest days of collecting, the one that got away? Okay, two two big regrets. I have two big regrets. Number one was selling my He-Man run. I don't know why I did it. I sold the He-Man run, the DC run, from like, what was it, 2014 through 16 or 17? Had the whole run, read the whole run, loved the book, sold it. I don't know why. I don't even know who I sold it to. I have no idea where it is. And then another regret. I went and looked at a collection and the guy wanted astronomical money for it. Big, like, I'm going to say 40 long boxes. But he also said, you know what? If you want to just pick stuff, because you know, if you want to just pick stuff out and make me an offer, go ahead. So I picked out a whole bunch of stuff out of his boxes. I had a stack like this and I made him an offer. I don't even remember what it was, like what the offer was compared to how much money I can make. I have no idea. And the only book that I remember in there was a really high grade Batman Adventures 12. And I made him an offer and he said, okay, yeah, no problem. I'm like, all right, you take PayPal. No, he didn't take PayPal. And this is like, I'm not talking like an older, older, older person. I'm talking like a guy in his early to mid forties. And not like that he was worried about scamming or anything. It was, he legit didn't know how to use PayPal. He asked his daughter, who's like 14 or 16, somewhere in there, like who had PayPal, this is before even Venmo. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna hang on to these books. Just bring cash and come back, right? I drove a mile down the road. He calls me, he says, forget it. So that was a big one. If I had cash in my pocket, the deal would have been done. I would have been gone. He never even would have thought about it. So that was a regret. What's the comic book on the top of your current wish list? That would be Detective Comics 168. I think it's 168, the first Red Hood. I think it's 168. Uh, that would be, that is my that is on my wish list. I don't know if I'll ever find that book. That is a ghost of a book. We're talking early Detective Comics. I don't know. I mean, I've had people come to me, offer to sell it, but like one fives are like $10,000. I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> uh what series in your PC are you most proud of? I do like the fact that I have the Journey into Mystery complete run from 83 to 125 or 126, whatever, whatever the, the Thor, the complete Kirby Thor. I think, it's, I think it's Journey into Mystery 83 through 125, and I think 126 is the Thor when it switched over to Thor with Hercules and Thor on the cover. Uh, I have that whole run, including the annual, the Hercules annual, Journey into Mystery annual one. I like that one. And I haven't focused enough on upgrading the conditions of those. Maybe that's something I'll work on in 2022. Maybe. And last question. If you could have any 0.5 comic, what would it be? Detective Comics 27. Don't even need to think about it. Keep your Action Comics 1. Keep all that other stuff. I would want a Tech 27, first appearance of Batman. That would be cool. I would just hope that the 0.5 has a cover because I want the cover. I think that would be awesome. So th guys, that's it. We just blew through 15 questions of part one. We do have to do a part two because I don't want this to go on for like 45 minutes. And uh, that's it. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. If you also hate Sparkle, my rooster, like I do, he's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. The worst. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up on the way out. And as always, keep it comics.